Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel, right? Today we're going to be talking about side event quest, Odin's Gauntlet. But before we get to the nitty gritty bits of the video and I do my best to explain exactly the situation that currently has occurred, I do want to remind everybody to remain civil, uh, no matter what you think should happen or what the resolution should be in this case, do not try to do, express yourself overly aggressive. Uh, you are always more than welcome to leave a comment and uh, write down what you think and uh, what would be the right thing to happen here. But do not try to, I don't know, turn this into some sort of very negative kind of thing. Because in reality, no single player is actually at fault about the situation. And it clearly is 100% the error of the beautiful gaming company that creates this game and seemingly cannot get a single bloody thing right these days. Yes, that's you, kabam. Anyways, so the situation at the beginning of the month was uh, as soon as side went started, it was bugged. For a lot of people, myself included, uh, I was trying to record a video about how I do the initial difficulties of the Gauntlet quest and uh, the overall complexity of the whole situation to the side. Fact of the matter was that uh, basically people entered lower difficulty quests that they were meant to enter because of Kabam's error. So that is error number one that Kabam has made. They messed up their side quest. Now. Admittedly, people who entered these quests obviously could have possibly noticed and not done that, but obviously a lot of people who maybe do not actively follow my YouTube channel or just jumped in in the first time, whatever, there were a lot of people who did use their feathers basically the moment the went quest went live and therefore ended up entering wrong difficulty and therefore being quote-unquote suffering from Kabam's bug because that is exactly what had happened there. Uh, they later received a compensation in form of Uru and some other stuff. And then it's L that itself would not be a problem. Because Uru will be worthless once you buy all the caskets. If you have 10,000 Uru left over at the end of the month, it doesn't matter. You can't do anything with Uru. However, Kabam did not account for what kind of effect it will have if you get to unlock caskets significantly earlier. And I was actually kind of like blissfully unaware about the side effects of that as well, until a subscriber reached out to me. And uh, then he kind of explained his that situation. We actually spoke about it further. But the base point is that uh, the people who did receive the extra Uru, they received far too much of it. And that is the reason why we can see all of these uh, zone gauntlet 8, gauntlet 9, whatever being unlocked very, very early. And again, the fact itself that somebody has more Uru doesn't directly create any unfair disadvantage to people. However, the fact that those same people who received this extra Uru for making a mistake on Kabam's bugged game now we'll have about 13 feathers extra that they can utilize in the highest difficulty. Now to explain, basically they will forfeit uh, some of the runs in lower difficulties, but they will get to run the highest difficulty 13 or so more times. And that actually is very, very influential and it's a very big thing for anybody who received this compensation. And that is actually, in my opinion, will be quite significant amount of rewards that it is worth, in fact, talking about. Now, I did redid the math on the 13th uh, extra runs that somebody can do on Quest 10. And basically, people who messed up at the start and fell into, let's say, quote unquote, Kabam's bug trap, but. Uh, receive the compensation will now be able to get extra 1.3 tier 5 basic catalyst 26 percent random tier 5 cc as in 13 2 crystals 26 
plus five five star random signature stone crystals so about 130 total signature levels on five stars and also 65 huge uh, iso chunks now obviously the iso and the random five star six i'm personally not overly bothered with but 26 percent tier 5 cc fragments is a quite big freaking deal <laughs> if you were to let's say purchase an offer with all of these items listed that offer would likely cost around 100 bucks here so basically people who messed up we can say due to no real fault of their own and therefore i do not think that anything should quote unquote happen to them or they're exploiting anything because it's a compensation that Kabam sent to them and they're just playing their went quest. It's not their fault or their problem that Kabam can't get their shit together. But effectively the situation was Kabam released a bugged side event and then made the situation even worse by sending out way too huge compensations with that extra Uru thinking that, well, it's just Uru, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the month, nothing happens with it, and any extra Uru you have has no point or meaning. But whoever came up with this brilliant, brilliant compensation plan clearly didn't account for the accelerated progression these people will have throughout the gauntlets of several tiers. And this, unfortunately, is the end result, that whoever messed up on day one, entered the wrong quest, got the compensation will now have all of these rewards basically extra available to them that means that combined with the 20 percent tier 5 cc that you already can earn from this side event you're going to basically earn half a tier 5 cc plus a crap ton of tier 5b like two tier 5b's i think or maybe slightly more than that and uh not coming from a point where it's like uh i want all oh, these people are exploiting anything no i don't think they did anything wrong i don't think they did anything right either but at the same time it doesn't seem quite straightforward and fair that people who were careful or people who did not suffer from bug and end up getting all of this stuff less so currently the situation here is if you are careless if you don't follow don't read don't know anything right instead of uh, messing something up you get uh, vastly rewarded for doing so by a company that seemingly can't stop fucking things up and uh, yeah the reason i make this video obviously is because uh, this person reached out to me and later on yesterday several more people reached out to me and i also hadn't really seen it being discussed in its finality like i had seen that there was some talk about that people are getting these gauntlet tiers early but nobody really had kind of laid it out what it actually means for those people who are ahead of the others those people who received extra uru as compensation effectively are almost doubling the amount of rewards they're getting this month at least at the highest research difficulty so yeah, I do not know what is the best way how to sort it out. Again, I do not think that people who benefit from Kabam's stupidity are exploiting the game in any way, shape or form. They're quote-unquote just got lucky. But at the same time, I would not like to see a situation where a problem like this is just ignored because we are talking about a significant amount of endgame resources that Kabam frequently charges a lot of money for. Therefore, Ideal situation obviously would be if they sent out the extra Uru to everybody, just like they did to whoever messed up. That would sort out the issue, in my opinion. Or cap the amount of runs people can do in the final difficulty. So nobody, if you by any way, shape or form got more Uru that you were meant to, you can't do that final quest more than, I think, seven times that you were meant to. So if you put on a cap of the final quest so it doesn't matter how many feathers you have left over it doesn't matter how much uru you have left over if you can do the final quest seven times that would effectively fix the situation because nobody's able to benefit from that and i think that would be a very worthwhile solution but either way no matter which way kabam decides 
to go about fixing this thing. I definitely do hope that they do not just pretend it didn't happen, ignore it, and do nothing. Because, yeah, I don't, don't find it particularly professional. They created a bug, they messed things up even further, and hopefully they don't pretend that everything's fine. Anyways, that is about it. Let me know what you guys think about this situation and how do you think Abam should address it. But uh, yeah, that's it for today's video and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about